What's up, guys? So there is some major protest and possibly an uprising going on in Iran right now. Probably something to do with this guy that looks a little bit like Gandalf using the police and other government goons to violate people's human rights and make them disappear and stuff like that in Iran. Look, I'm not going to pretend like I understand everything about the Iranian political climate, okay? I'm American, so I'm like only vaguely aware that other countries even exist in the first place. But the point of this video is that right now, Iranian communications are more censored than a Chinese copy of Winnie the Pooh. So if you live in Iran and you want to use an app like Signal to communicate privately with your friends, family, or whoever, well, you're just not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to use Signal normally. It's not gonna work in Iran because Iranian Gandalf wants to be able to spy on your messages, probably to steal all of the spicy memes that you're sharing with your friends instead of him just going to poll and saving them like a normal person. But anyway, Signal, being the amazing app that it is, comes with the ability for you to use a simple TLS proxy to get around this kind of censorship. And their proxy is actually set up in such a way that it's pretty difficult to detect that the person using Signal is actually using a proxy, which is important because Iran also has the tendency to ban people using proxies because of course, they're a common tool to get around censorship. So. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up. Uh, well, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? You basically just have to SSH into your VPS and then just paste in these pink commands here and uh, boom, your box is gonna be up and running. But there's a couple of important things um, to keep in mind when you're picking the box to provision, which I'm kind of surprised that Signal didn't mention this uh, in their blog post. I think this is basically just a rewrite of a blog post from, yeah, from over a year ago. Uh, so maybe they forgot, but anyway, uh, it's important because this proxy that we're setting up is primarily gonna be meant for Iranian people to use. Uh, it's important to not have that box be in Europe, definitely not in the United States, and definitely not in Israel because if you put your box in one of those countries that Iran really doesn't like, well, they're gonna know that your box is in that country, right? You're gonna have like an Israeli or an American IP or whatever. And Iran is probably just going to block connections to that IP because of that, right? Just because it's American or just because it's European or whatever. So I recommend when you're picking your box to put it in a country that I guess either Iran is friends with or at least they're you know neutral to get along with or whatever. Um, as far as I know, and as far as what Volter offers, I think Singapore is probably the better one. Uh, and if you're going to use Volter to set up your own box, I have an affiliate link that I'm gonna put in the description of this video. So if you use that, uh, I'll get a little bit of credit to my account and you'll also get a little bit of credit to your account. So helps both of us, uh, really appreciate if you use that. But regardless of whatever host you choose to use, just make sure that you put the VPS in a country that Iran is okay with, like ideally Russia, Syria, or Qatar. Those would probably be the best ones. Um, I would think Turkey would also be good. Yeah, you know, do a little bit of research. Like I said, I don't really know anything about geopolitics. Um, and you're also going to need a domain name. So you could try to get a free uh, .tk domain from freenom.com, but to be honest with you, this site kind of sucks. Like it wasn't even working at all for me earlier. So I just went ahead and bought a domain. I bought uh, www.totallynotaniransignalproxy.xyz for $1.99. Look at that. For less than the price of a Big Mac, you can undermine a corrupt country's censorship efforts for an entire year. I mean, gosh, how great is that? So once you have your domain, of course, you need to connect it to the IP address of your box and the DNS settings so that the domain will actually go to that box. And you might need to wait a few minutes for all of those DNS records to update. You can always just ping your domain and then when it's pointing to the right IP address, you know that all of that's finished. 
And then you can go ahead and just copy and paste these commands that are in pink because it uses Docker, so it's basically impossible for you to screw this up. Um, and also when you run this init certificate.sh, it's going to ask you to paste in that domain name that you bought. So just go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna be finished. Well, use this Docker compose up detach, and then you're gonna be finished. And then you can start sharing that domain with anyone that you know in Iran that's being censored, right? They can just use this, uh, it's gonna be signal.tube, hashtag, and then put in your domain right there. So boom, there you go. Share that link with some other people, or if your brain was just too smooth for you to follow along with this video, you can go ahead and share my proxy. Here it is. Link to that in the description as well. So now you're all done. Pat yourself on the back for helping to undermine cringe censorship. Leave a like and a comment on this video to hack the algorithm, follow me on Odyssey, tell Iranian Gandalf to suck my proxy's cock, and if he dares blacklist it, I'm just gonna make more. Don't try me. All right, have a good day, guys.